hello everyone. My name is uh, Arnaud Germain. I am a postdoctoral associate in the lab of Maureen Hansen at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York. And today I will be discussing uh, one of the first paper that came out of our center's work. And this paper is called um, Plasma Metabolomics Reveals Disrupted Response and Recovery Following Maximal Exercise in Myalgic Encephalomyelitis, Chronic Fatigue Syndrome. So as I was saying, uh, this study was the first paper that came out of our center's work. And uh, after all the sample collection occurred over several years, and this uh, the collection of samples uh, happened at three clinical sites across the US, um, here in Ithaca, New York, also in New York City at Weill Cornell University, and at the Workwell Foundation in California. And actually, the samples were rushed to Metabolon, which is the company that uh, did the metabolomics measurements. And they were rushed because that was right when the country locked down for the COVID-19 pandemic in March 2020. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time uh, discussing the actual findings of the paper because I recently did a journal club for the uh, IACFS ME Foundation. And in that video, which is available online and also on our website, I did my best to explain the results in more lay language than what the written in the paper. And uh, I also uh, try to restructure the story to go from more of a broad vision to detailed analysis. But just in a few words, I wanted to mention that uh, using the knowledge of Metabolon, we were able to monitor a record uh, 1,157 plasma metabolites. And we did that in uh, 45 females and 15 males suffering from MECFS. And we compared the, that, those results to uh, 30 females and 50 males that were sedentary controls. And so the signatory aspects and the inclusion of both females and males is something that is kind of new in the field of MECFS. And uh, even though we ended up uh, separating, keeping the sexes separated in most of the paper, because there were very big differences between actually females and males, um, we found, we realized that the results of the male cohort requires a larger cohort to validate the uh, findings that we presented in the paper. Um, and the other um, novel aspects for the MSCFS field was the sampling uh, that we um, that was performed. Uh, this was coordinated with a two-day maximal uh, cardiopulmonary exercise test, a CPET, and they were separated by 24 hours. Uh, the goal was to induce post exertional malaise in the MSCFS subjects and monitor the, the evolution of the metabolites that were detected. Um, in the end, we found severe differences between controls and MECFS subjects, with the hypothesis that controls were able to recover and repeat the effort from the first day, while the patients accumulated more and more disruption in their metabolism instead of returning to their baseline rate states. 